From the Unionville Crescent of um, August 20th, 1926, comes the <clears throat> following uh, most interesting and historic uh, obituary. Uh, respected and beloved aged pioneer called by death. Mrs. Jane Springer died Tuesday afternoon, August 17th at 4 o'clock, aged 82 years, 3 months, and 28 days. Mrs. Springer had been in failing health for some time, not taking part in church or social activities for the past three years, and for several years previous to then, she remained um, quietly at home most of the time. This spring, she suffered a stroke of epilepsy, followed by others, so for the past three months, she has been confined to her bed, although she could not lay down. Jane Stevens... <clears throat> was born in Morristown, New York, April 19, 1844. When two years old, her parents moved to Canada, where she grew to young womanhood. And on January 11, uh, 1862, she was married to Isaac Springer at Lakeside, Oxford County, Ontario. In March 1866, Mrs. Springer came to Unionville to reside, um, Miss, Mr. Springer having located here the previous fall, taking the position of Miller and Sawyer in a mill located at the south end of the village on the Wiscogan, uh, on the property now owned by E.O. Ainsworth. They occupied the house in which Mr. and Mrs. Ainsworth now live, and there her children were born, Kate and Mrs. Lewis Sodden, who remained at home with her parents, and Rich, who had uh, never been away from his mother for very long, always being where he could be able to reach home in a few hours. The two faithful and loving children have given their mother the most careful and devoted attention all of their lives. Their devotion has been exceptional, their lives having been given almost wholly to the mother. Mrs. Springer, having come here from the early, um, here in the early days of Unionville, was one of the few remaining pioneers and was the oldest pioneer woman in the town, as she had resided here uh, continuously over 61 years. In her younger days, she was one of the leading women of town, taking an active and interested part in all affairs for the best interests of the village. She was a member of the M.E. Church, uh, where for nearly a half a century she was an officer of the organization. She was also a member of the LOTM for many years and was a member of, of and had held offices in Bethany Chapter OES. Mrs. Springer was widowed February 17, 1907. She leaves to mourn her demise, her beloved daughter, Mrs. Sodden, and son, Rich. Two grandsons, uh, Isaac and Gerald Springer, and... Uh, one sister, Mrs. Agnes Fritz of Ann Arbor. The funeral services will occur this Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock at the house. And that's in quote. Uh, I, might, I might just point out here that at that point in time, uh, funerals were still held in the home of the family rather than in a, uh, in a funeral home. And I think this gave the family more of a, a, a contact with their loved one who was deceased instead of placing them in a in a uh, in a funeral home i know what i'm trying to say but it's not exactly making sense the way i'm trying to say it so i apologize for that but the, an interesting piece uh, about one of unionville michigan's pioneer citizens <laughs> 